Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters. I have an amazing word of encouragement and direction for you. I know some of you are watching me for the very, very first time. You are welcome to this platform where I release the word, the word that will transform you, the word that will help you in whatever you are dealing with. I know there are people who have received words that have helped them. Some of you, you have received miracles and testimonies. Some of you do send me your messages and I read them and it is good to see what the Lord is doing in your life. Some of you have already uh, become victorious over your enemies. Now, my brothers and sisters, today's word is learn how to distinguish yourself from others. It is very important that you, my brothers and selves, my, my brothers and sisters, you distinguish yourselves from the rest of the world. Because remember, you are not the same. You are never the same with them. You are very unique. When God was creating you, he did not recreate you all the same. That's why you see we are called the body of Christ. The hands are not the same as the legs. Though the hands can try to do the work of the legs, it will never be so. They will never be similar. Of course, there are people who uh, will balance on their hands and start moving using their hands. People who don't have legs. Some of you have heard of them. But they can never be efficient as the legs in terms of walking. They can never outrun someone who's on legs. So my brothers and sisters, you see the body parts that we have, all of them are unique. They look different. Your eyes are different from your nose. They all serve different purposes. So my brothers and sisters, you are the body of Christ and you are gifted. God gave gifts to men. Don't say that you don't have a gift. Just because you have not dis discovered your gift, it doesn't mean that you don't have it. It is there, but hidden. So it is time to distinguish yourself with the rest of the people. When you are at work, have it in mind that that work that you are doing, there is something in you that you can add on to be distinct from the rest of the people. And some of you have started distinguishing yourself. Why? You are the light of this world. Remember, light is distinct from darkness. Light can be seen by people who are in darkness. You are the salt of the world. Salt is different from, from sugar. Jesus did not say that you are, the, you are the sugar of the world. No, 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 no. There is a reason as to why Jesus said that you are the salt of this world. Even, even, even though sugar re resembles salt, they are very differ different. Some of you can even tell. It looks the same, but different. You test it, it's different. They have different purposes. Now, my brothers and sisters, today's scripture is from the book of Daniel chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Daniel chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. And it reads, It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 stirrups to be over the whole kingdom and over these three governors of whom Daniel was one that the stirrups might give an account to them so that the king would suffer no loss. Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and stirrups because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm what a powerful word the scripture says it pleased darius it pleased the king to set over the kingdom 120 stirrups to be over the whole kingdom and listen daniel was above them are you able to please the king? Are you able to please the king to set you over? Wicked people. 
Remember, the king was not even that righteous. He wasn't that righteous. But he saw a righteous man in Daniel. Your boss may not be righteous. As a matter of fact, they may even be fighting against you. But they can see something in you that they will set you above all your co-workers. My brothers and sisters, the king did this so that he may suffer no loss. He realized that for him to prosper, he needs this young man, Daniel. For him to move forward, for him to deal with his uh, kingdom, uh, affairs, he needs Daniel's wisdom. There's one of the scriptures that says that Daniel was 10 times wiser than all the magicians, sorcerers in that kingdom. There's a scripture in the book of Daniel that says so. He was 10 times, not one time, not two times, not three times, not five times, but 10 times. That is a huge margin, a very huge margin. That means the wisdom of the magicians was folly to Daniel. Folly. So my brothers and sisters, if you trust God, he will make you ten times wiser than your enemies. Now, verse 3 says, Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and stirrups. The scripture says Daniel distinguished himself. He distinguished himself. He did not wait for other people to, 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 to make him distinct. He decided to distinguish himself from the stirrups and the governors. When others went to drinking parties, Daniel could not be found in drinking parties. When others went to a gambling, Daniel was never found in gambling. Daniel distinguished himself. You must learn how to distinguish yourself from the rest of the people. Now the scripture says, this Daniel... That means there were other Daniels that were in the kingdom. There were many Daniels in the kingdom. But the scripture says, this Daniel distinguished himself. And how did he distinguish himself? The scripture says, because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. Powerful. The reason is because an excellent spirit was found in him. Learn to distinguish yourself. Have an excellent spirit in whatever you do. Do things without complaining. My brothers and sisters, this is the word that I have for you. I hope it has blessed you and I hope it has encouraged you. Remember to keep sharing this word. You can let me know in the comment section or you can uh, send me your messages through my email address, which is in the about section. If you want to be the blessing to this ministry, you can do so through my paper it is also in the about section until next time my dear brothers and sisters be blessed